Hey guys, what's up? I ain't gonna wait for people to come in or nothing. All right. So I got a little uh, bedtime story for you because apparently it's uh, out there with people going, "Hey, wait a minute, Shanny. Why? Wait a minute. Hey, Rev. Why didn't you tell Shanny to uh, apologize to G-Man because this?" Uh, she's the one that started this. So let's have a little bedtime story and tell you the truth. Because if you're going to anybody, if you're going, certainly, if you're going to him for your truth about what happened, you're not going to get it. Hi, Gucci Trolls. So let's go back. How long ago was this now? Shit, time is flying at this point. I don't know, let's say it's a year ago. Let's say it's that. It's probably a little over a year ago, maybe. I don't know. Time is going so crazy right now. It don't matter. We were in the hotel. That's all I really need to tell you in terms of the time. We were in the hotel, and yeah, G-Man was providing money for us to be in the hotel, which we appreciated. It's a shit hotel. It was it was filled with drug dealers and shit and it was horrible, but it was a roof. So we're there and and uh, I guess Shanny pulls up YouTube, see what's going on. And G Man had done a video about burnt toast. And if you don't know who that is, I don't even worry about it. It's another YouTube reaction channel that takes the piss on me and Shanny. So. Sorry. So, she goes on there and she sees, uh, like, a thumbnail image to a video about burnt toast in some way. I don't know what the title was. I can't even, I, I didn't even see it. I didn't see the post at all. It's just something that Shani saw. And the thumbnail was Shani punching burnt toast's avatar, okay, Number one, okay, so G-Man thought it was just fine knowing that this perception of Shanny is out there, that she's violent, okay, that perception is out there, and he is perpetuating it by putting her in a picture punching Burnt Toast's avatar, okay? Shanny did not like that, number one. Number two, in this video, he called at least Burnt Toast, and it may have been others, it may have been Jules and maybe some more females that say that they are Christian girls. Yeah, they, they're reaction channels and stuff. Yeah, and they talk about us. Yeah. You shouldn't assume that means that we're going to hate them back, though. Okay, because we don't. They're just doing whatever the fuck they have to do. That's fine. Uh, Shani heard that. He's calling, I think it was Jules and Burnt Toast, I think. Calling them whores. Now, for the people that are stating that Shani started this, can you tell me, do you support G-Man calling female Christian girls on YouTube whores? Do you support that? I didn't. And I certainly didn't support him making a thumbnail of Shanny punching anything because that's just going to perpetuate the perception that's false that she's violent. He, yeah, he sounds very childish. He, You have no idea, Gucci Trolls. Like, I know you're not into that whole side, the YouTube thing. That's good that you're not, okay? I'm telling you right now, it's good that you're not. It's He's he's like a toddler or a like a middle school kid, his mentality. Everything is about image and am I tough and do I look like a man and a, and, and a Christian facade. That's what it is. It's a facade. He uses his Christianity as a shield and a, a mask to deceive 
for his own purposes of ego. That explains him completely. Yeah, that's not my thing. When groups of people gang up on one person, that's like literally there's an entire community dedicated to that. And they destroyed our lives. They got focused on us, harassed us so bad that we had to get into an apartment with security, a townhouse with security that we couldn't afford, but we were there because we felt secure. And that's why we went broke. The main reason we went broke is because we got swatted in Colorado. And it forced us into a situation where we felt we needed security. I've seen it happen with other people. Yeah. Yeah. And it happened with the man that it happened with us in a very messed up, psychotic way. And this guy is furthering that. He, he is absolutely, man, that's crazy looking. It's, I saw a UFO behind me. Um, it's a street light, I think. But anyway, yeah, Gucci trolls, we helped him with the house. It's That's crazy, isn't it? And I, I never said it before, but I said it in the video I did yesterday. You're talking about two people. It's, it, it's insane. Who would treat two people that literally gave them a roof over their head like this? It, it's insane. It's really crazy. But that's who he is. That's who this guy is. And do I regret giving it to him now? Kinda. Yeah. And the reason I do is because I think he's fake. I don't believe he's a real believer. I think he's using this as a mask to come to people seeming like he's a sheep and he's a wolf. Because he's his ego is so massive, guys. And for him to do you guys this now, it's just, yeah, it's really wrong. Even if he ended up not liking us and he th really thinks we're, we're horrible people, if he thinks we're horrible people and racist, really, actually, he should give the money from the house back to us because it's dirty money. He should give us that 160 grand. If, they, if we are actual, horrible, fake Christian racists, he should give us that money back. I would, as a Christian, if I took money from a guy that I knew was like, say, I don't know, a, a, a P word, like uh, loving on, uh, uh, attracted to kids or something, I'd be so disgusted by that, I would give the money back. A racist wouldn't give the opposite race a house. Thank you. <laughs> See, but you have a brain, Gucci trolls. See, you have a brain. You think about these things. The people that spout this shit, they don't think for themselves. They hear someone say it and go, yeah, that's right. They're racist, horrible people when they gave a black guy a house. Yeah, but you're thinking. You're thinking, yeah, it is common sense, I know. But back to the subject, and I'll close it out. <clears throat> back to the subject matter at hand. Shani didn't start shit. Shani saw a guy, first of all, putting her in a picture, punching somebody. That's because that's what it's supposed to be. It's her avatar, so it's her punching someone. That was that's bad enough. But in the video, only 160 grand. Wow, that's so cheap compared to where I live. Well, yeah, this is this is bumblefuck. This is bumfuck Nipa. Okay. Is it's it's cheaper living. I I mean I think that's a good thing, personally, Mike. So. He puts her in a thing punching someone, and in the video, he calls Christian girls whores. Do you support that? Do you think that's okay, that he called Jules and Burnt Toast whores? G-Man started this by being a disgusting asshole, calling Christian girls whores. There's your answers. Shani didn't start shit. 
he started this with his childish bullshit that Chani has been literally calling him out for forever. Ever since she's known the guy, he's had these issues with people and acting like a complete fucking idiot. He's got mental problems, folks. He has untreated mental illness. Mainly, I'd say, uh, narcissistic personality disorder. He is extremely toxic narcissist. That's what he is. Nope, he's not very Christian. IMO. Yeah, you're right. He's not. He's not. Why are they on pause? Is there a problem? Who's on pause? I'm pretty sure I'm not on pause. Anyway, I'm done. I wanted you guys to know this, that, yeah, Shani didn't start shit. If you're going looking for truth, if you want to go to that guy for entertainment to see, like, a stupid guy just acting like a, I don't know, WWE star that never got a contract, Watch him. Go for it if, if you want to. But if you're going for truth, forget it. You're getting twisted bullshit. Complete bullshit. Glad to see you're doing good. Was hoping to see you live. Hey, it's good, always great to be in the chat with you Gucci Trolls because you're extremely... You, you think for yourself. You got good stuff to say. You're pleasant. All that good stuff. So God bless everybody. Jesus bless all of you. Though, if you have to listen to G-Man, just do it for entertainment. If you're in entertained by it, I understand. You want to watch him, go for it. Okay. But if you want the truth, we'll tell you the truth of what actually happened. That's it. Peace out.